Hello and welcome to Business Talk, brought to you by the Sharonville Chamber of Commerce. I'm Britt Scarce with Emory Federal Credit Union. I'm your host, and today here in studio, we have Bob Pavke with SOAR with a Purpose. Welcome, Bob. Well, it's great to be here, Brett. It's good to see you again. Thanks. Yeah, it's great to be back in action here. It is indeed. So um, you are the president and lead leader of SOAR with a Purpose. So tell me a little bit about what what that means. So it's a a one-person shop. I, uh, I help people figure out who they are and the greatness that's inside of them and spend a lot of time on leadership and leadership development. And leadership, as in every single one of us, has a leader inside of us that's dying to be recognized, developed, and put to good use. So it's, um, it's for any and all that, uh, that are interested. Love doing this work. That's great. And, and how long have you been doing it? In many ways, I've been doing it for, uh, for decades. Yeah. When I go back to my corporate career with uh, AT&T, I had leadership positions domestically in Australia for three years and in wow. London for a couple of years and travel, blessed to have been travel the planet. And so two things, one just learning from being in leadership positions and, and all of that, uh, but also trying to mentor the, the next generation coming along. So even though that really wasn't the job description, what I found is I learned a lot through that and then I'd like to try to share that now. Well, that's, that's, a, 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 that's extremely valuable because I think right now, uh, you know, you have a lot of younger folks that are coming up and there aren't a lot of, I, I don't think there's a lot of good mentoring going on, you know, because, um, you know, we really need, ex, you know, experienced leaders kind of, you know, teaching that next generation, like you said, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I go, gosh, I, I remember it's probably been a well over a decade so, since I was first introduced to you. Yes. I saw you speak at, you know, at an event, uh, at a chamber event or, you know, um, and uh, man, you uh, you do a great job. And, uh, you know, I, I'm amazed that uh, of the number of people that you've touched over the decades. They're very kind. It's, um, it's very rewarding. I will tell you, um, pretty much corporate America or corporate internationally have really scaled back on their training and mentoring programs. It's a shame, but it, it is what it is. Um, the next generation, or a couple of next generations now, <laughs> as it goes on, are really very hungry for advice. They don't want to be preached to. None of us really wants to be preached to. Right. Um, but are hungry for, you know, what would you do in a situation like this, or did you ever run into this kind of thing? And so if I can be of help, I think that's why I'm here. Well, um, you know, uh, it's it's called wisdom, right? You've you've seen a lot, of experience, right? That's true. <laughs> so That's true. And if we can help somebody not have the same hard knocks that we all had, just reduce one or two of them, be helpful. You know, if people, if if you just get through to one person that might not make the same mistake, it's really uh, it, true. It can make a huge difference. It's really true. Um, Tell me a little bit about the program that you're going to be doing with the chamber uh, coming up. It's a leadership program. Right? It is. It is. It's a nine-month leadership program. I've actually been doing leadership programs of this uh, ilk for, geez, 14 years or so now. We've talked about it at Sharonville on and off. So last year, we had the in- inaugural class. Nine months. We started in March. We ended in uh, November. We got together full day, uh, once a month. Okay. Um, and that full day was focused, half of it was focused on leadership, leadership development, leadership behaviors, and the other uh, half of it was focused on some form of community. So for instance, we met uh, for one class day out at uh, Mercy Fairfield. And so we got to hear from the leadership at Mercy Fairfield, got a tour of the facility, really had, um, we had visits from the nurses that are working in the COVID units. Oh, wow. And so we had firsthand discussion about what they have been dealing with, what they are dealing with, security around it, and all that kind of stuff. So, so each class, as I said, is half, half leadership development. We do some tools. We have some uh, exercises that we do. It's as interactive as we can make it, full discussions. People, what people tell us is that what, um, what they get from this program is they certainly learn a lot about themselves, because the more we learn about ourselves, the better mm-hmm. off we will be to be able to help somebody else. Yeah. Learn about themselves, learn about the community, um, and then being able to position themselves to give back. Give back to their families, give back to their work teams, give back to their community at large. Wow. I, I've, uh, I've attended a, a leadership program myself, and I found it just uh, tremendously helpful um, and, and fascinating. And, and, you know, it's almost like you, you kind of get 
to, they kind of pull back the, you know, the, the screen a little bit, you yeah. know, the curtain a little bit, so you can kind of see the behind the scenes right. of, of, of a lot of uh, things that are going on in your community. And, and you definitely meet a lot of other leaders going through uh, these programs, and uh, you end up building lifelong friend friendships. So if there's one bit of feedback that over the years that I've heard over and over repeatedly is we've made friends for life. We've gotten these other benefits, but we've made friends for life. And as you well know, when you think about that, when we're in need or we want to do something, how do we do that? It's from somebody that we know and trust and spend some time with. Yeah. So these classes, um, as diverse as we can make them in every angle of diversity as, as, uh, as you could imagine, you know, sometimes I ask, well, do you have to be at a certain title? And it's no, I don't want all the same title. Yeah. I want the CEO and I want the... Uh, the front desk person yeah. all in there. Um, so title, age, gender, race, industry, all of that just makes for a richer experience for everybody that's in there. Absolutely. So it's very rewarding work, I must tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and, and, and I think that sometimes we get, you know, uh, we get kind of stuck in our own little ruts and things like that. And, and I think going through... Uh, programs like this to help sharpen yourself is is real important to do. I mean, it really helps you kind of, you know, maybe sometimes it jumpstarts you and gets you re-passionate, you know, re-energized and more passionate about things again. Very true, very true. I know from my own experience when I first went through uh, a, one of these leadership programs and every year is you look at a full day on your calendar and you go, ooh, can I give a full day? And then the week of the program, I mean, everybody goes through this and like, Oh, my to-do list is too long. I can't do it. But once we get in there, you know, mm -hmm. me as, as part of the program and now as facilitating and leading it, is, it's a breath of fresh air. It's, it's an opportunity to kind of just take a breath, be with others, and that to-do list will be there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, not yeah. going to go away. Oh, yeah. Um, I've heard people say, this is kind of like a mini vacation for me. I get to go away. I get to think a little bit challenge with some questions and get to, to talk and, as you said, pull back the screen a little bit and some, see some things I don't normally get to see. Right. Yeah. That's great. Now, when does, the, when does this start uh, uh, this year for uh, the Chamber? So um, with the Sharonville Chamber, our, our call to lead, the first class is a call to lead, so mm -hmm. registrants are called to come on and lead, is in March. Okay. Um, I believe it's the third uh, Tuesday in March, but details are on the uh, Sharonville Chamber uh, website. Okay. Um, and then uh, our commence to lead, the final event for the program, is in November. Okay. Now, I say final because programmatically that's the end of it, but what happens is... People stick together, and then we do some alumni things, and hopefully we'll do a little bit more alumni. So it gets extended, but programmatically, in this case, it's March through, uh, through November. Okay. Full day each of those months, and then we do a, uh, I've instituted a thing that I call a windsh mirror and windshield. And so it's a half an hour virtual in between the class days. Okay. And we just spend a couple of minutes. What do you recall from the last time we were together? That's looking in the, in the rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. And are there any questions? And then here's some details about our next session, if there's like particular instructions or anything, whatever. Here's a little bit about that. And is there anything else you want to talk about? And what, ha what has surprised me pleasantly is because we've all spent the last two years spending a lot of time virtually mm -hmm. on uh, all the different uh, platforms, is, is folks say, this is also a little <laughs> refreshing for me. It's a half an hour, so it's not a big, long-winded thing. And you're giving us a little bit of time to just chat and reconvene and catch our breath once yeah. again. It's not overly structured. So yeah. I've been pleased with that feedback because I wasn't sure how that would go. Yeah. Uh, but feedback so far has been good. It's probably nice to have that check-in in between there, you know, kind of keeps everybody to and it and keeps them engaged. Engaged. And, and the fact that it's not super structured, like you said, is, yeah. is really nice for folks. Yeah. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in front of that little camera. <laughs> <We> sure <laughs> have. <laughs> sure have. How many times I felt like Paul Lynn from the old Hollywood squares. <laughs> Just not as funny. <laughs> oh. Well, Bob, thank you so much for coming in and, and, um, and uh, you know, spending some time with us and letting us know, you know, about the this leadership program starting in March. And uh, good luck with it. I hope it'll be. I'm sure it'll be awesome this year. I, I'm certain it will be. 
I'll be looking for your registration. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I just might. But, uh, um, you know, I, I went through a, a one similar yeah. to this, as I said, uh, uh, with another chamber, and I do value it. It's a wonderful program. Uh, this, uh, this is definitely something that anyone would benefit from, taking and this leadership program. Very truly. I mean, anybody, uh, as I said earlier, you know, like across industries, titles, and all of that. And that really is where the richness comes from. And then the discussions. And what ends up happening is these cohorts, they get to know each other and, and build relationships. And what will frequently happen, you get into the, you know, the third, fourth, fifth month, somebody will say, you know, I don't have any place else to really discuss this, but here's a business issue that I have. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? And so, one, it's, it's a freeing and uh, safe opportunity to share, to, add, to be listened to, because yeah. most of the time we just need to be listened to. We don't yeah. need the advice. But if there's advice there, they can get it. Yeah. And it's, it's difficult to explain that in advance of what might happen, what you might get out of it. Yeah. But when it does, it really solidifies a class and, and solidifies their learning and their trust. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Well, our guest has been Bob Pautke with uh, uh, SOAR with a purpose. And, um, you know, he does a lot of great work. I definitely recommend that you sign up for this leadership program. You're going to get a ton out of it. We appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll see you right here on Business Talk.